state Republicans hammering away at Clinton's email issues. There's a, a culture of corruption that she's brought to the Democratic Party from top to bottom. Thank you so much for your vote, David. Chief. Democrats say the FBI's bombshell has only hardened support, turning out more volunteers for Clinton over the weekend. And the voters you're hearing from, the people you're talking to, it doesn't... They're not asking about it either. New polling shows a tightening race, a fierce fight for New Hampshire's four electoral votes. Clinton still up by seven points, but just a couple of weeks ago, she was up by 15. Tuesday, Clinton bringing in her biggest help, Bernie Sanders kicking off his nationwide tour for her with two stops in New Hampshire. The differences between Secretary Clinton and Mr. Trump are day and night. And last week, it was Senator Elizabeth Warren, a favorite among liberals firing up women. Well, I got news for you, Donald Trump. Since clinching the nomination, we love New Hampshire. Trump has visited New Hampshire nine times. Hello, New Hampshire. Pence four, hoping the email revelations could put the state in play. But we still have only about uh, less than 80 percent of Republicans saying that they're going to vote for, for uh, Trump. He needs to have 90 percent plus of the Republicans saying they're going to vote for him. With more female than male voters here, Clinton running well ahead of Trump among women. Her campaign now targeting men as well. And what I've often heard men say is, I have two daughters and I want them to be able to grow up and have every advantage. Both campaigns running full bore, 1.4 million door knocks and 1.3 million calls for Republicans. Democrats counter nearly 600,000 individual doors knocked and more than 2 million calls in this tiny state. What the craziest I've ever seen. <laughs> this election, anything possible. The electoral college map is in a mess. I mean, you have uh, Hillary going to red states, you have Trump going to blue states. And